Texas. When you broke in Texas, like, I don't know. <laughs> I've heard so much, okay? I've heard so much. And I'm like, hmm, okay. It's a new year, so we're gonna keep it positive. I ain't gonna say what I wanna say to somebody. You y'all in a minute not a sit down sit down we ain't had a sit down in a minute okay i am back it's your girl jerae thank you for tuning in to jerae's space okay i am here with another video and today we're going to talk about things that i have learned since i didn't came to california things that i have learned and figured out since i've been here it's almost a year so let's get into it okay so basically let's get into uh, some things I've learned since I moved to California. Here's the thing. We're going to get all the obvious out the way. Let's get the obvious out the way because everybody has their own little old thing about California and basically um, what they think. Okay, so we're going to get them out the way first. And then I'll tell you what's going on and what I learned. Okay, it might be, it might be shocking or it might be like, huh, never knew that. Wow, okay. So, basically... Say California with you on the Mac for thing. Expensive. 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 Because you know if you go to California, it's expensive. When you broke in Texas, like, I don't know. <laughs> I've heard <laughs> so much. Okay. I've heard so much. And I'm like, hmm. Okay. It's a new year, so we're going to keep it positive. I ain't going to say what I want to say to some folks, but I'm going to keep it real real you know that's how i do so uh they say it's expensive they say um what else they be saying that's like the number one thing um but then you know it's like oh you out there with the good weather oh it'd be air earthquakes out there you know it just be like yeah yeah there's earthquakes it's been something i ain't even felt okay so let's get clear let's get let's just get it all out um i moved from dallas texas to um the Riverside area in California, the SoCal area, that's what they call it, Southern California, SoCal, or whatever. Um, and uh, we moved out here, and hmm, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been interesting, because it would be me to move from Texas to California, and then there's a pandemic. That would be that 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 makes sense. That that sounds just about right. About exactly what would would happen, right? So um, basically, we moved before. Well, I, I I really honestly think it's been here since December of 2019. So um, you know, before they start pretty much um, getting into before it really got you know deep deep, we came out here a year after I got laid off from my job. And there was an opportunity out here. And basically, I was just supposed to be on vacation. <laughs> I was going to be on vacation. Many kids were going to be on vacation. My husband was going to get into some things that he was getting out here business-wise. And then sin for us. Okay? Which was fine. I was like, okay, cool. And so, um, things... Uh, so, we stayed out here. And then, um, I'm still on vacation, you guys. <laughs> I'm still on vacation. But... Um, it played out. I mean, it played out well. It was different. Um, so the the move was not that it wasn't a lot of things happened in between. Um, but what I've learned so far is that um, a lot of those, you know, what people believe about California is true. Of course, it's, it's expensive because what you guess what you pay for this weather. <laughs> you pay for the weather. You pay for the views. You pay for that. And um, I will say this. What I learned is that normally it never rains in Southern California. Tony, Tony, Tony was on point about that. But in late February, early March, it just rained like unexplainable. Like other people was like, I don't know, it was the El Nino or whatever. But um, it rained for like two weeks. And I was like, so is it ever going to stop? 
you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's happening, you know? And it was like, um, you know, Muzzle was like, and it may not rain no more after that, you know? And it didn't. It might have rained, I think, in December, two days. And it's never like a thunderstorm. It's just like, pour, you know, a downpour a little bit, and that's it. I'm used to rain, you know, thunderstorms, all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, Texas is like very bipolar. You don't know what it's going to be. You can have snow that morning, and then it's about 80 degrees that evening, and it then drop to 30 that night. Y'all know that. Y'all know it. So, basically, uh, no thunderstorms here. Every day, most likely, is sunny. You might have an overcast in the morning, but every day it's sunny, like every day. And then we're like, oh, that's great. Like, oh my God, like I would love to wake up and all I have to do is, you know, you know, and it's cool, but sometimes you want a rainy day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a rain is good for the soul. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we don't get that many rain. We don't get that many rainy days. So hang that up. So, um, if you like the rain, California is not the place for you. But I will say about this heat, though. The heat in the summer, this summer that I was here, it was unnormal, like unusually hot, okay? So I'm inland. I'm more inland than on the coast, like Los Angeles and all that. I'm not over there. It's more like uh, in the inland desert part of California, right? And my daughter, what is this? Anyway, and so basically it was just like um so hot. And so I'm I'm used to humidity and heat, which I feel like is the worst. And they have dry heat, so it was a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? It's a difference. But it was so hot this summer. It was hot, y'all. Then the air went out in, in our apartment when I, we first moved in here and it took them a month to get it done. Yeah, it was extremely hot, like in the three digits. I was like, where am I, Nevada? No, you know? So that was one thing I learned, the weather uh, gets really hot and it don't rain. Second thing, um, what I learned was black and Mexicans do not really get along here. It's not shocking, but it's kind of, I mean, I've seen stuff on TV, you know, some like maybe some gang related stuff or whatever, but I'm not going to say every black person and every Hispanic person, but it's like, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a difference. And I was just, it's so different for me because I always grew up with Hispanics. I have family, you know, say we, we, I mean, you know, it's like we grew up together in the same hoods or whatever, or we, we grew up with going to school. And it wasn't that many, it wasn't really like beef beef, you know what I'm saying? But it's like different. Like I'm, I was just like, oh, they really don't fool with us. And then we're like, they don't fool with you. I'm like, it's just different. The vibes is different. Um, It's just different. And I was just like, um, it's the difference. Another thing I noticed, um, well, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's like Southern hospitality is just, you don't know you have that much Southern hospitality to go somewhere where they root or where they don't, where that, where that doesn't exist. But it's like Southern hospitality basically is for Southerners. Now, I ain't going to say they as rude as some New Yorkers, because we all know they rude. You know what I'm saying? I got New York friends, so y'all know y'all rude. Don't play with me. Y'all rude. Okay? But it's okay. It's like California, they're not rude, but they're not nice. So it's like an in-between. You know what I'm saying? It's like they could be ruder, but like just normal things are just walking into the room. Okay, it's just like normal stuff are just walking into a room and... You know, you just speak when you walk into a room because that's just what happens. Or now I had did a lot of Zoom training and stuff for my job and stuff like that. People just pop up on the Zoom and everybody on the Zoom ain't nobody saying nothing to nobody. And I be sitting there all awkward like, oh, hi, you know, hi, everybody doing? And I'm not even like the most friendliest person. Yeah, but okay. I'm not even the most friendliest person in the world. People that know me be like, girl, you kind of mean anyway. But like, it's just certain. It's like courtesy. 
you know, I don't really want to just be your bestie or anything, but it's just certain things like manners and stuff that you just do. You know what I'm saying? And you won't even think about it until you just think about it really hard. Like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize I speak first and I do this and I, you know, say certain things and I'm just like polite or something like that. And they be like, girl, where you from? <laughs> you already, we already an accent. You know, there's already an accent, hunty. Okay, where are you from? Because we don't be doing all that extra. And I was like, oh, okay. And so, when in Rome, you act like you're in Rome. So, like, I would get on the Zoom. Don't say too much of nothing either, child. I just be like, hmm. Because they're not really kind of looked at me crying funny the first day. I'm like, first of all, I ain't no morning person, no way. I'm just sitting up here talking to y'all. But at the same time, I just speak. Like, it's just a difference. It's a different culture, and they just ain't, mm -mm, everybody's about going about their own business. They ain't really got no time to be talking to you like that. So, the next thing I want, like, that's basically it. There, there's no Southern hospitality. So, people are not all that nice here. They're not nice. Um, there's no thing. There's nothing called, there's no, no such thing here as Tex-Mex. And people that's from Texas know that Tex-Mex is, and you know from the South period, you know what I'm saying, Tex-Mex is, uh, you know, kind of like the fake version of some Mexican food. It's like a me mixture of Texas Mexican food and Texas and Mexican food mixed together. You know what I'm saying? So I'm from the land of that. You know what I'm saying? I hear you finna get you some authentic Mexican food and go on about your business. That's what you finna do. You're not finna get it's like a it's a taco bell here it's a heck look they live for del taco out here i think i seen one del taco when i was in texas i think but um they love them some del taco but that's about it for tex-mex you're not finna get nothing else you finna get authentic mexican food so if you love mexican food authentic food you go love it here but if you used to like a little tex-mex feel Nah, girl, they don't know nothing about that. They like, nah, we don't do all that. Go back to Texas for that. I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> um, what else have I learned since I've been here? I mean, I like it. It's just it's weird because of the situation we're all in. You know, you can't really do anything. I've been to different places. I've been to LA at least three times. I've been, um. To Orange County with the beaches I've been um, you know I've been to certain places you know driving by or things like that you know so I got a lot of views and even from my apartment port like the back patio has a great view nothing but mountains it's just beautiful palm trees it's beautiful here it's always beautiful you know uh, it does get chilly at night <laughs> so I always have you a light jacket and it'd be chilly in the morning, but after that, you got, you know, it's 70. Today was like 80 degrees, you know. So, that's just a couple of things I've learned since I've been here. Um, it's been cool. You know, like I say, a lot of people's like, how is it? I mean, how can it be? <laughs> um, I haven't explored a lot. I haven't done a lot because of the situation. And, you know, it's, cases is bad here. It's bad here. So, we just, you know, I I work from home and... We might take the kids out for, to the park once a week or something if we can, but, you know, um, it's not a lot to do, unfortunately. A lot of things are closed down, so there's not a lot of things you can just go do that you would normally be able to do. You can't. Um, so you can't really enjoy uh, California the way you want to right now. It's just, it's not, it's not, you know, it's like you have to, it's a new norm right now. And it's a new norm for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you can't really do what you want to do and enjoy certain things. You have to enjoy things that you can do um, and keep your head up. Because um, it's really depressing for me sometimes, especially being so far away from home and missing home and things like that. But, um, it, you know, it's cool. I, I like it. What I've enjoyed, it would be so much better if I could actually explore some things and have people out here and have people flown out here and we can hang out. It's just like, nah, even if we did it, we wouldn't have, a, it's, it, it wouldn't be fun, you know? It would be fun us to just hang out, but at the same time, it's like as far as doing things and that's what you come to California to do stuff, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy the weather, go to the beach and stuff like that. You can go to the beach though. You can still do that. You just, you know, get your space, you know, but you can still come. But, you know, um, it's a lot. It's, it's different. 
So we just have to wait and hope that things will get somewhat better and then things might be better. But other than that, this is just a few things that I have learned since I've been here. It's a different culture and um, it is what it is. So thank you for tuning in and listening to me rant. Uh, not rant, I guess I didn't rant, but you know what I mean. Here's what it is. Stay tuned for another video. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll um, have some more content coming your way. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks for coming in. Peace out.